At the end of last session, you made your way through the mist to a uh, Maud's crypt on the trail of a, uh, well, I would say alleged serial killer, but pretty well proven serial killer by now, Maud Bryle. Uh, and after being attacked by several creatures, managed to make your way to the make your way to the door of the, this uh, grand ruined cathedral. So it's not so much a crypt as it is a cathedral. Hmm. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, well, I am slightly injured. I don't know about the rest. I thought we rested up, so you our injuries You haven't were rested. We haven't rested oh, yet, so... You've got to we the front door of this place. A short rest. Well, I... I is going to... Sorry, go ahead. I mean, it's only four points I'm missing, so I can uh, handle myself decently. Plus, you should have got more when we leveled up. Yeah, I got yeah, more. I'm not, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure you've got too few hit points, Muz. What no, are you at now? no, no, I'm at, at now again? max oh, is I'm 30. Kind of damaged. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We did get damaged, so that's why I'm wondering. Yeah, you, met, you met some lovely friends in the mist. Hmm. Yeah. yeah we did, did you also uh... get frozen? <laughs> friends. Uh, I got paralyzed. Paralyzed, there we go. Yeah, paralyzed. Paralyzed. That pun, <laughs> hey. it was great. Right, so I think Varric is going to listen to the surrounding and try to see what can. Of course, Miss is probably going to hinder that quite a bit. Okay, but... make me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that's uh, the first one. You see nothing. <laughs> it, it's windy. Oh, you got that. Oh, shit. That's not good. That is not good. There's a lot of <laughs> mist. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. You can't see much in the mist. I mean, there's a, there's a cathedral to your immediate le to your in front of you, but that's all you can really get. I I will um I will perceive for you. <laughs> oh, and there's the other one. <laughs> right. Looking is in the that the last time? This is we we freaking way found our the. The mist. Yeah, I yeah, do. I, I do not do perception checks for a while. <laughs> as you as you sort of you know listen in, you can again hear this mist and you know, this not you hear the mist. What the fuck am I talking? About? You hear the wind. It's like sort of not so much howling, but it's pretty audible, and you can definitely kind of cutting off a bit of you know hearing. Also, the, this just no, looking around, the mist appears to have sort of be a lot thinner sort of in the immediate vicinity of the cathedral so you can actually you can actually see most of the structure and to you it looks like this very very dilapidated just ruined gothic structure you do sit you do spot a front door well well guys <laughs> ha! i can see the door is there a keyhole uh it's it's, it's it's this you know huge like sort of slab of a sort of door like it's a huge stone slab of a door, you know. Hmm. Right. Do we rest up now before we go in? Uh, yeah, probably good. Yeah. Oh, if it's a short rest, we can hit die. Well, you a can short rest die. would be an hour, but I mean, probably healing wouldn't be a bad idea at this point. Didn't your stomach get slashed up, Eric? They got healed. They got better. <laughs> but yeah, I suggest a long rest. I can take the first watch. Long rest, yeah. yeah. Long rest. Yeah, a long mm. rest is like actually like sleep is like actually oh, sleeping, having oh, a nice okay. rest. I don't. I don't yeah. suggest that. A short rest okay. is more like sort of you know, having a sitting down, having a breather for just like you know an hour or so. Right. You know. And what do I roll to uh, heal myself? You roll your hit dice. So one of your hit dice, so you'd be 1d12. Assuming we do have a short rest here. Ass yeah, assu assuming you do. I mean, I'm all for it. I vote yes. Is there a point in me doing anything? Because I'm full health and everything. I mean, if do you I mean, have... Full health people can keep a watch while the ones that need resting. Yeah, I'll short do that rest. then. Right, I'll just roll 1d12 then. Better. Hang on, I'll get oh, wow. some music ready. 
Okay. So, almost back up to health. Full health. I'll take it. Oh, it sounds like rain. Shit. No, there was a light drizzle. Nothing too severe. I mean, it's foggy. We're probably getting a bit damp. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's coming in and out, as far as you can tell. It's... I know what I said. The uh, it's, 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 no, the rain. It's like you'll get like five minutes here, another f like five minutes there. It's very patchy and sporadic. It's not full on downpour. Huh. And I messed up here, so let me quickly set the properties for. So if you are gonna take a, sh uh, are you taking a short rest or a long rest? Short. Short. Short rest. Short. Yeah. Okay. Are you just gonna like you sort of you know have a sit down in front of the doors or just like? Um, I think we'll find uh, more of a secluded, not right in front of the door. Okay. God no. Right, because of the sort of the front Good, door, sir. it's sort of like you know a sort of entrance way. It juts out from the main structure a bit. You can get a decent amount of shelter in the sort of like the uh, crux of the building, if you know what I mean, and sort of on the corner, or in between the corners, so to speak. I will take it. it. Yeah, you managed to get a bit of cover from the rain. It's still quite, you know. Dreary. Well, it's not. It's not a nice place to be. But you can at least get some shelter here from the elements. Nice. Right. Well, okay. Barrett will at least keep watch uh, while the short race is going. Okay. Make, make me a perception check. Oh god. <laughs> can I? Can I just keep my perception check? You know. That doesn't work like that. Sorry. Okay. Well, it's now the Boy. other way around. <laughs> I'll, uh, what, what? Since I'm full health, I'll watch with you. Okay, I'm gonna say for checks like this, only two people can make them, you know, before it's just like, you know, otherwise they're gonna be like, oh, I failed, I'll try, I'll fail, I'll try, so it's, you know, otherwise we'll just have the entire party chaining skill checks together, so I'm gonna say two uh, two people only doing the same thing, if you know what I mean. Fair. Okay. I think that sounds good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Three guesses who I stole that fucking wolf from. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. If you want to make, if you want to help, keep watch. Uh, Mar Jack also make a perception check. But yeah, you both sort of keep an eye out in the sort of. And while everyone else rests, it's pretty calm right now, aside from the rain and the mist. But you know, obviously, you ignore that. Well, how that was that's not there. Didn't happen. Anyway, but yeah, you do. It's fairly calm, although you do notice what like shapes moving through the. Uh, Mist, but you can't really tell if they're actually, you know, if there's something that's like concrete there, or it's just, you know, your mind like playing up. Because you do have this sort of sense of of dread, really, not overwhelming, but this sense that you shouldn't really be here. And actually, well, actually, why not? While you're doing that, I'd like, uh... hmm, this will be Foxy and Power to make me wisdom, just wisdom, straight wisdom rolls, please. I'll take that. Yep. Right. Uh, Power, as you're sort of just resting and recovering from that from that, uh, from that that nasty uh, hit you took earlier, you kind of feel like there's, as you're sort of, so there's something, there's like some kind of divine source in that, in the, in the building, some kind of, you understand there's, there's something powerfully divine in that building. Some sort of, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel overtly evil or good to you. Just, there's something of significance in there, which, yeah. You sort of notice, so to speak. But you can't get really get any concrete details from just this, you know, feeling you get in the back of your mind. <coughs> Define presence. But yeah, the uh you take your short rest, the hour's up, and nothing really happens. Right, shall we try to get in? May as well. Sounds like a plan. Guess I'm going first. Can we open the door, or does it need a bash? It's, it's, you, you're sort of, are you sort of just tapping it open, or are you trying to actually put your back into it? Uh, I'm gonna try gently first, as gentle as I can. Gently, it's... 
quite heavy. You feel like you feel it moving a bit, but not enough to really get it open. You I'll, feel like I'll you put could, my back into it. Yeah, putting your back into it, you can just easily heave the thing open. Very well. You gonna step inside? I'm yep. wondering if I sense anything. Let me make me a perception check. Well, I do have danger you, sense. That's yeah. why I'm asking. Yeah. Although you do say it's very dark in it. It's quite dark in it. There's no real natural light sources. Mm, I do have dark especially, vision. Especially, so... especially as it's now coming up to the like, to sort of night time by now. So now I have to do a perception check. Good choice. Yeah. It uh, will be disadvantage because it's quite dark in here. Mm-hmm. But doesn't he have well, dark vision? Dark vision. Well, yeah, but he can make it because he has dark vision. I the think I made it. it. Those who don't have dark vision can't see shit. <laughs> I mean, it's, I a disadvantage, it's a disadvantage, remember, Muzz, so it's a seven. <sighs> you can't really get a good view in there. It's sort of, you <sighs> see what looks like some like etchings in the wall, like as in some quite grand, but very eroded sort of, you know, wall embellishments, we'll say. Any... And you think you see another door ahead, but you can't really get see much without actually, you know, in this little, li in this little light, really. Do I have anything with me? That's a good question. Most kits, most kits that you guys come pre-equipped with have a torch in them, so well, I'm just going to assume. I've got an explorer pack, that... so yeah, I'd like uh, to light a torch. That's yeah, I'm going to assume that. Yeah. You okay? You light a torch. You, as you light a torch, you see this sort of room in front of you, which is you're not really an expert on these kind of things, but it's very clearly looks like very a lot of religious sort of. It's this fairly grand, but like I said, very eroded front room to a church, so to speak. Like it's, you see all those like like writing on the wall and language you don't speak. There's a um, a few very eroded statues of what looks like a uh, what looks like a woman, but you can't. They're so eroded you can't really gain glean much from that. There's. Do none of us speak this language? Uh you can't. I you, I'm, I assume none of you else are looking in there at the moment. No. All right, because Chris is in the way and he's huge. Yeah, not, exactly, not. and. Uh, yeah, there was, there's several parts where the walls have started to cave in almost, and there are chunks missing, and bits of the roof where they're actually the where actually the walls have caved in entirely, and there's just, like, lumps of stone in the centre of the room. I'm uh, calling the rest of the party, ask if they can uh, recognise anything. Okay, in that case, if you're all moving in? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Then let me move you guys to the map. Oh, joy. Da -da -da. Boom, boom, boom. It's loading. Give it a minute. And then go down to the bottom. Yeah, go down to the bottom. Oh. I made this map way, too, way bigger than it had to be because I'm smart. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, shit. Hi. Top class. Okay, now that you step into the room, a, um, Nana, you notice the writing on the walls. You recognize it. It's in Celestial. Is it now? Yeah. She's above, lads. What does it say? It's. Seems to be some kind of uh, maybe a religion check. Seems to be some some seems to be prayers to some sort of. Uh, okay, fourteen. Sort of, not awful. Fourteen. Uh, judging by the sort of the sort of you know, not dog with the words inside. They speak most. They speak of judgment and fate and uh, death and all that. You think this is uh, these are some kind of prayers to uh, Phrasma, the goddess of uh, death and judgment. And in fact, okay. on the door itself, you see a symbol, a, a carved stone symbol that looks rather like that. Only, you know, less colour, because it's in just pure carved, like, you know, marble. Colour would have okay. been gone anyway, yeah. Hmm. It's Ferasma? Hmm. Ferasma, yeah. Okay. Um, How do you spell that? Spe spell a have you want. <laughs> So I'll oh, you'll go... put it in chat. Oh my God, God, you we people. want to know. <laughs> Details. Oh, oh right. okay. that was neither Not... of the two ways that I spelled <laughs> Same. it. Same. <laughs> Big scratch on that one. <laughs> oh, wow, that's actually how I spelled it. <laughs> oh. Well, but yeah, on. as you're sort of looking around the walls, notably one phrase jumps out of you from right above the door in large, larger text than the rest of them. Namely, it reads, Toll the bell for those whose time has gone. In large, if 
elaborate, if very faded, sort of le lettering over the uh, door. Let's Talk not do that. Time is, time is gone. None of you can read this. I will remind you not to meta game. Mm -hmm. I'm not meta, but I Sorry. am writing it down. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> you have to tell us, though. I do I? I don't have to. My don't character doesn't to. want to. Mm. So you wanna what if one of us like fucking tolls the bell and we're like, no. oh well, there's skeletons. Woo. I'll read that out, okay. okay. Toll the bell for those whose time. So from what gone. you know of uh Phrasma, no no. She's sort of the goddess of death and judgment and sort of what happens to the souls after after the person dies. And is you know, and nat naturally, dis not dis but is vehemently opposed to any sort of perversion of that cycle, i.e. undeath. This is strange. Why would a man who is dabbling in the necromancy have such scribblings of a goddess who is so... You notice these look very, very old. Okay. Still, why would he make his base here? It's secluded. Maybe there. No, good, good, good transport links. You know, good local a. Uh, you know, schooling. It's you know. <laughs> Free boarding. Yeah. Is the man still? Very low council tax. You don't even know if the guy speaks celestial. I mean, we have no clue, but. True. He might not even know what it means. Yeah. That might be part of the problem. But... I was gonna say, is the man still in the cathedral? Like, or do we not know? You don't know. Can I mm, maybe investigate if we can see any like footprints? Okay, make me a anything? survival or investigation check. God. Survival investigation. Oh god, they're both bad. <laughs> they're both pretty good if I'm correctly. Yeah. That's what? Plus three, that's not bad. Yeah, looking around, even with your companions having traipsed through the room for about a good minute. You do notice a lot like a faint set of footprints mm -hmm. going through the door that just echo, that just sort of. You wouldn't notice them otherwise, but there's there's a solid layer of dust here. Get the feeling no one's been here for no one's been here for a long old while. Mm. But you do notice this one this step go this trail goes two ways, although the, although the trail going in seems to be a lot more recent than the others. Is it going up? Going in. Going in. Into the door. Mm hmm. Into the door. Is that door locked? You haven't checked. Would you like to try? <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> it's, it's, you push against it, it moves slightly, but it's again a very heavy door. Doesn't feel locked. Well, might as well. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's where All we're right. going. You hear Where the is door? the door? The door is uh, here. I cropped it a bit too aggressively. Uh, <laughs> right then. Give eh. me a sec. This is going to take a second. Veal. Hang on. Fucking up. I I'm good at roll 20, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Don't I worry. Can do I can do the roll 20s. You're the professional. Oh, hello. holy shit. That's a church and a half. Oh my god, because mm -hmm. you've already outdone yourself. Is well, that gold? this is a temple to Phrasma. <gasps> Are those skeletons of, like, dinosaurs? Well, right, as you sort of look in, you see this just huge, grand main cathedral hall. <laughs> but which time has clearly taken its toll on. Several parts of the roof are missing entirely. The stained glass windows have shattered in several places. And some some of the pillars have just crumbled into nothingness. There's At the far end of the bodies. temple, this large gold object is a bell that looks like it's fallen from the bell tower and fallen straight in. Oh. It just hmm. crashed down onto the floor. Did you know it's... <laughs> what was that, Marjack? Is there any movement in? You are oh my god! You, Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> yeah, you're, you're sounding rather staticky. Crackle. Crackly stacky, Elverbotto y. It sounds like X Kazoo. Because you all know internet. But yeah, these, I will say, these, the skeletons, the skeletons just put like 
like the parts all over the just all over the temple although they seem to stop in a sort of white give a wide berth to this uh bell hmm so always staying the... at least a few meters away from it Toll Although... of the bell for those whose time has gone. Sounds like it's a sort of a, a ritual thing you do when someone dies, you ring the bell to kind of, I don't know, maybe a lot their death or... or... On the, a uh, um... You do notice power as you sort of look, as you sort of tap it, you sort of, you know... You have a feeling this bell was that object you sense having great divine power. Hmm... From just this very vague that you can't figure out what it does, but you have a feeling this thing has significance and power. But looking around throughout the few the remaining benches, at each one is a skeleton sat slumped over. Although not in tangles and pieces like the rest of the of the uh, skeletons throughout the throughout the temple. When we were talking to the people back at the town about this dude that had taken up residence here. Mm -hmm. This was an abandoned graveyard. Like, yeah, very abandoned. No one really knows long how long it's time. been here. Okay. And no one's really gone near it for a while. So wait, aren't there any torches or light sources? Because this is a pretty large room. You can uh, through the cracks in the sort of the uh, uh, in the sort of temple walls and windows. There's a good bit of moonlight coming through as the sort of mist doesn't cover the, the top of it so much. Ah, okay. So you do have have decent light in here. Like those with dim vision can see perfectly well. Dark vision can see perfectly well. Even those without can see a pretty decent enough to you know not be incurring any penalties. I'm wondering, do we want to risk getting attacked by surprise by the skeletons, or do we just want to like destroy them so not by uh, attack them by surprise? <laughs> destroy them by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you mean just uh, preemptively uh, bash their heads in? Yeah, I don't want the thing to happen last time. Destroying the remains of the dead who worship this goddess in her hall. I mean, if it's dead, it's not moving. I don't really see a point in doing anything extra. Been enough, been in enough battles to uh, respect the dead. All right, but you're walking first. I am going in first. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at these pillars, is there any writing on these pillars? It's again in the language from before that sort of a um, that sort of in that the language before you don't you don't didn't recognize hmm. uh, power. You again see them as celestial. Also, I'd advise you guys to while you're moving through dungeons, make sure you're actually moving your character token. Oh. Because otherwise a fight will start halfway across the dungeon and you'll have to spend fucking 20 turns running it. It's... Oh, and we're not internal, so you can move as, long, as far as you want. Keep up. <laughs> yeah, you oh, know, all so the skeletons nice. are sort of just sat at uh, 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 these benches, just entirely still, like just held up almost. Like, unlike the... There's um, several of... Uh, several, like, uh, can well, I... Hundreds of bodies that are on the floor that have just been, like, you know... In pieces, but these seem intact. Can I roll an Arcana check? Mm hmm. How many of those are there? Uh, I've been sat at the benches or mm -hmm. a. Uh... The, the ones that look semi intact. Uh, for every single bench you see there, there's one sat at it. The, um, where, there's, yeah, where the rocks have come down, you see parts of just skeletons that have just, you know, been broken and just crushed right. by the um by the rubble but so is this one bench oh, hang on, hang on. yes so, so th what, this is one bench well you know every single square of bench is one bench so for every square that has a bench in it there's a skeleton sitting on it Two, three, four, five, six, bench. 12 that's a lot of skeletons let's not uh, fuck with the power you don't want to disturb them yeah power as you saw so and try and figure out if there's anything near sort of anything magical nearby you Again, now that you're actually looking through it, you again sense the power of this bell, and it's kind of blocking out you your sort of, you know, magical sensory information of anything else. So I just feel like a divine power. Yeah, some kind of divine power. Is there any doors we can see outside uh, going out of this room? From here, no doors. There's several, like, you know, breaks in the, uh, 
you know, like the walls and the and the and the stained glass that you know you and... could probably get out of with a, with a bit of effort, but there's no doors as far as you can see. And do we spot anything near the altar? Can it be uh, near the altar? Um, not from here. Hmm. Guess I'll uh, just uh, move up then. You don't have to. You don't have to like inch forward. By the way, oh, you well, can just quick in that move. Case, <laughs> we're inching forward so that if something happens, we know <laughs> yeah. where we're at. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Are you gonna sort of? I want to inspect the altar. I want. I don't want to get close to the bell just yet. Okay. As it's, you sort of. Interesting as it looks. Inch forward there. You sort of. Make me a perception check, actually. Oh God. <laughs> uh, where is it? Perception. There we go. This time, not with disadvantage. I take it. No, no, you have you have enough like vision in here to not. Please, back out of that. Just enough. <laughs> Just about enough to see that it's an altar. <laughs> you see, it's an altar. You, I mean, you know, it's there's there's it's it's eroded enough. You can't really pick out any details. You know, it's a very a fa very dilapidated, disused altar. It's you know, ignore the candles. They aren't there. <laughs> it's the only altar I could find on right. a um. Well, as you guys sort of, as you guys get closer to the a uh, um, to the bell, you do notice you hear almost like a, a slight, like like you know, reverberating noise. It's all the, they're incredibly low. You can barely pick it up, and it seems to be coming from the bell. Can I inspect oh, wait. these skeletons? Like... Can I make, make another perception check? Can I again? Can I recognize them as a certain animal? It's, uh... Um, so if you're doing that, make me a uh, nature check. It's just as bad. Oh yeah, it's just as bad. <laughs> you're pretty sure they're dead. Past that, not much. <laughs> well, you do notice that as so, as the uh, so as they get closer, as they get closer to the a uh, um bell, they seem to be more bleached white, more sort of as if more decay hasn't affected them as much. Can I make a nature check too? You certainly could. That oh, did not okay. sound... didn't do much better. You are definitely sure it's dead. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a dead you can, animal. You can be certain this is a dead, this is a, this animal is very dead. Hmm. Um, I was gonna say with the bell, can I detect use my detect magic ability? You certainly can. How do I do that? Uh, you just well, I just like just click on the, uh, the spell card in the a. Uh, um... Oh, hang on. Hmm. Oh, frick. On the uh, spell list. Hang on, I need to check something up. I'm just gonna wait until you tell me to click it. Uh, you, uh, click it. Click it now. Just give me a sec. I need looking something up. If you just give me a minute, I. S Hang on, I need to find my notes what happens if you do that. That's something that I'd like to do. Uh Fox, as you as you a uh Yeah, as you're sort of like looking at this a um Yes. It's as you're sort of sensing this, you def as you sort of like tap into your magical power to sort of figure out if this thing's magical, you just have feel this just whoosh of power. This thing is definitely very magical and very powerful. You get a hmm, let's see. Very, very strong a strong set sort of feeling of a uh, evocation magic. Oh, I misspelt that. Action. That's something else entirely. There we go. And say, so, uh, actually, make me make me no Arcana check. Well, actually, no, just, just a straight Wisdom roll instead. Wait. Oh crap. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Oh, found it. Okay. Is that Wisdom save or are they same? Uh. They're not the same, but I think you have the same bonuses on either, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, with 
Let's say through the 21, you can figure out that this thing... Is this thing does... Has some kind of radiant effect to it. It's radiant if anyone didn't catch that over my mic fucking itself. Can I relay this information to the group? You certainly can if you want to. I relay this information to the group. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Mark would like to investigate the bell a little bit and the bones nearby. That is there any layer of dust on them or something like that? And uh, compared to the rest of the place, does the uh, similar thickness or is there less? There's. It's a dust it, but... it's, it's a, okay, make me uh, make me an uh, investigation or check. Uh, sorry, investigation. Investigation or, or perception. I think I'm going to go with Perception. Yeah, what? yeah. Oh. Okay, right. Looking around at these sort of a... Um, at these, like, bodies on the floor, they seem to, like, be in similar concentration to the rest of the room. However, they just abruptly stop completely around this bell. As in, like, from about two metres around it, there's just nothing. Not, like, a single... Bo not a single, you know, skull or bone or anything. There's just no traces of... of of that at all from around it. And looking at the uh, bell, you... With your training, you wouldn't really know much of, about it. It's definitely very ornate, very, uh, very, look, very valuable. <coughs> it's it's made, out of, made out of, cast out of pure, out of, of gold, clearly. And there's, again, text in it. You, you don't understand at all. Uh, what about the dust? Do I see dust on the bell or the bones nearby? Uh, yeah, there's the, 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 a full layer of dust on the uh, bell. What's with the bones? Hmm. Can I, uh... Go ahead, sir. Yeah, so I'll tell the rest of the party that there doesn't seem to be much dust on the bones. Also, with that, a, um, with that troll, looking around, you also see there appears to be scrape marks on the, like, sort of a, um, in front of the altar. As if something had been shifted or moved. I would like to push the altar. Okay. As you go to push the altar... Uh, as you go to push the altar, a uh, Muzz... You sort of... Maybe, maybe, maybe a perception check. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? And another one! Uh, and another one! One day this will go right. Oh my oh. god! Thankfully, the DC wasn't very high. Oh. As you were to push the door, the, the door open, you hear behind you hear behind you many, many tons of clicks. And as you look around, every single skeleton sitting on those benches, heads has just looked up, dead at you, and they just stand up in perfect unison. Oh, oh. don't well move the altar, mate. Oh shit! Well, well, that, I'd like to call me initiative. I knew, I knew well. It. Right, okay. How many? Can I have read the bell, please? Uh, well, roll initiative. Buzz, stop touching You have to, cl you have to click on your to token touch. first. Right. I... Buzz is doing a fucking magic at this stage. I wanted to read the bell before he touched the altar. Wait, what roll well, do I do? Terribly sorry, but it happened to I said, start. can I read the bell? Oh but shit, Mars sorry. Must push pushed it Wrong. first. God Wrong damn it. it. Wrong mm. button. Actually... Sorry. Don't, don't, set off, don't set off story points while you're done exploring. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> there, oh. That Hang is what I submitted. So, did Muzz literally just touch the bell? No! I used to have to push the, ult, the, the altar. Oh. That happened. Graz pushed the altar and all the skellies. Okay, let's see. This Stan. They still stand. They stand up. They stand. They stand up. They and they just stand. such fans. Such fans. Stand up. Stand. <sighs> oh. You notice that's the ones closest to you, which are the more mobile. Is the, the lines behind haven't started to move yet, and it's very staggered in their response. But Varric, I'd like you to uh, your turn, as this wall of skeletons just stands up before you. Oh god. Do they seem aggressive? Uh, they, they seem aggressive. <laughs> but no shit. Okay. Shit. They appear to want your blood. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Oh really? Yeah, Still I'll wine. actually. I'll take a battle position and I'll ready my action to hit any skeleton that comes near me. 
Okay. And that will be my turn. Do notice these move very, really rather slowly. As compared to the skeletons you fought in uh, yesterday's battle, well, not, they were, they're quite sluggish almost. We're so fucked. I'm sorry. Hang on. <laughs> Gross, your turn. They're just filing over each other. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Uh, yeah, well, I will. Oh, wait. Um, Kazoo, sorry, quick yeah. thing. My token wasn't registered. Okay, what did you roll? Okay. A. Okay. I don't know why he keeps doing this. You have it's to like click on it before you. I did. It doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't fire properly, but I can just add it on. He doesn't like me. Thank you. Anyway, I'm sorry. I remember turn. to tell you this time around. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Right. I will uh, start my rage. Okay. And I will. Uh, one, two. Uh, let's see. I will stand here, and I will smash the guy right next to me. Make me an attack. I will make an attack, and I will do it with my club this time because bludgeoning seems to work well on these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that definitely hits all me damage. Did you rage? Actually, he did. I did rage. Uh, I am yeah, now in rage. Uh, you fucking just shatter this thing. That's one. Just explodes like fucking. Everything, right. Just need to... Ah, Jack, your turn. Right, can I hit unless him? Unless there's, any, unless there's anything else you want to do, Maz. Uh, there's not much I can do right now. No, there's not much I can do right now, so that's it. Okay, Femeno, your turn. Uh, can I hit the, this one if I stand diagonally from it? Yes, you can. Right, I would like to hit it with my quarter staff. Okay, aim your attack. That is a hit. Want me damage? Yeah, again, just fucking shatter this thing into several pieces. I uh, I can't move now, right? Uh, you cannot. Okay. Well. Uh, well, no, can you, no, you can, you can, no, you can split up your movement. However, you can't make another. No, I, I, you can move, but you can't make another attack at it, even with the uh, monk features. So I can't even throw a dart now that I finish the attack. No, because okay. you need you, yeah. What? No, it has to be a melee, I think. I think that's an action. I think it ha he can, but I think it has to be. Has, if you make a melee attack, it has, it has to go with the rest of them. I think. I don't think you can use flurry of blows with a uh, ranged weapons. Right. I didn't want to use my key thing. I just thought of the other one, but maybe that one doesn't work that way. Uh, all right. I'll. Uh, well, you, I'll can, you can make another. You can make another attack, but it has to be an unarmed. Unless okay. you intend to detach your leg and throw to the skeleton. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I thought if I could move next to another one and then attack with unarmed. You can yeah. move. Oh, no, no, you could. If you did that, you could you could move and make your bonus and make your extra attack, I think. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll just sit here for now. I'll just I'll just get ready here. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Um, okay, your turn. Uno question. In my attacks and spellcasting, only one of the short swords come up? No, it has not come up. There's only one short sword, and there, not... should, there, there should only be one short sword because you got the uh, you got the fighting style feature, which means that both they're not fighting style feature. Why talking about the dual wielding fight dual wielding uh, fighting style feature, which means that both your attacks are identical anyway. So there's no oh. point putting both of them. So I just okay. That's, so, so you just tap it twice, yeah. Both. Okay. Um. So can I whoop move? Oh. I don't want to. Can I just can I use my longbow on? You certainly can. How? Which? Um, hang on. How do you? Oh wait, 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 wait. Is it this? Hold and click. Click and hold. I mean. Maybe it's this one. Hang on. I'm pressing buttons. Get this Press. guy. Can I use a longbow on this boy? You certainly can. Let me attack. Or is it just not going? Wait. There we there go. That's definitely a hit when we damage. Do I press the Yeah, press the longbow text underneath. Oh. oh, there you go. Yep, you've just fucking headshot this one and he just falls back in a pile of bones. Good. Nana, no, no, your turn. Hmm. Um. 
Would it be... What would it be to read the bow? I'm going to say a, a uh, move action. To read? What do you want from me here? This turns are about supposed to be six seconds. Okay. I'm assuming you're a speed reader here and being nice about it. I'm really good at reading. It's like my native language. Go on. Yeah, exactly. My native uh, language is reading. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean this is my native language. Uh, reading it, it seems to, it seems to how, yeah, it seems to, again, several pr prayers to a uh, phrasma, and again that text that you saw above the door. But also another phrase that jumps out to you, and I mean, and it says, "Should death walk again, ring the bell to dispel evil." Okay. So, what have I got that I can throw? You have a bow. I do have a bow. I guess... Okay. I'd like to shoot the bell, please. Okay, make me an attack roll. Yep, that definitely hits a stationary object. Roll me damage. On the bell? Yeah, I just want to ding it. Oh, I honestly... just want to... Dang it! Okay, as you hit the bell and, and your bolt pierces off, there's just this almighty, like, just ringing noise, far louder than that had any right to be. And this just, everyone feels this just wall of, of radiant energy fly out from the bell. The skeletons before you just seem to halt for a second and just slow immeasurably and crack at the edges almost, but are still up, unfortunately. However, that definitely did something. Can I... Do I have time to yell anything? Or did I use all yeah, my six seconds for yell, Yelling is a free action. Okay. Hit the goddamn bell! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Except not that way. That's not how my character would say it. I, that was really bad. Say it in an accent. <laughs> it says in Celeste. Hang on. Oh my but god, this point, there's more! more skeletons. Guys, okay, well, if you tell me... If you right. tell me... What celestial is I will attempt to say it in that accent. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say maybe. Hmm. Well, it's, it's the language of angels, like obviously. So. Uh... <laughs> Latin. <laughs> maybe Latin. Go power, go. He's Latin. That's that Roman, out. right? So yeah, Italian. Well... Tita de bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I can do it. Invade a gorilla. Perfect. Give the now. skeletons, he did a bell. <laughs> okay, Varric, your turn. Another wall of skeletons. Are just, those skeletons on the back wall as well have just also gotten up. Okay, uh, is uh, that difficult terrain or is it just a regular? Is uh, what difficult terrain? The pile of corpses. Yeah. I'm going to say. Make me an acrobatics check. Should you or <laughs> athletics? It's... I'll go with the acrobatics. Yeah, you are well used to walking over the bodies of several creatures. Uh, yeah, you can get across <laughs> easily. Okay, well I'll get over there and I'll hit the bell. Okay, make me an attack roll. I'll hit with the hilt of my short sword. Okay. Yeah, nope. definitely hits a stationary object for me damage. <laughs> Again, you get the second just. Immensely loud ding, like ringing noise. Another wall of like radiant energy washes throughout the cathedral. The skeletons again seem to slow and crumble and start to collapse, but just about maintain their form. They look, to put it bluntly, fucking rough. However. Okay, well I'll hit it again with my offhand. Okay, you make me an attack. <laughs> yep. I get again. It, this, this immensely loud ringing noise and these the skeletons. Just start to crumble even further. These things on their last legs, well, they're already dead. They're on their last dish legs. <laughs> they're, they're having a bad day, basically. But yeah, it's definitely doing something. Okay, well, I guess. However, that's... it's now the skeleton's turn. Yeah. And they, these, yeah, these things are just now moving forward in force. So fucked. I got a feeling they don't like me, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I really don't like uh, them. I don't, and I'd move like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just you know, do a full <laughs> swing? 
I'm these so are glad I did These are completely there. unarmed, you do notice, though. They have, like, no armor, no weapons. This is, like, scratching. They do have a lot, of, a lot of hands, though. So, they're basically civvies. <laughs> yeah. Well... I'm, I'm just group moving them, because I'm not, not mapping the exact movements of every single fucking skeleton in here. Because there's somewhere in the region of 50, I think. <laughs> okay, Muds, this just wall of hands starts graveling at you. Graveling? Grabbing at you. Yes. One, two, three, four attacks. There's so many. That's a uh, 18. <laughs> 18, we just, 18 we just hits. Back. Okay. <laughs> just not like, an 18. Oh, yeah, that hits. Very right over 18. the bones. I said not an 18. Wait, so three 18s and nothing? No, one 18 and two misses ah. and another miss. I get a lot of you're just blocking most of these, getting them out of the way. One hand does get past your defenses though and deals you one point of damage. One whopping point. Good, good job, Skeller Bros. I mean, I'm assuming that is uh, already halved, so. Uh, yeah, you can't halve one. <laughs> exactly. We don't do decimals here here in D and D. Oh. And uh, and a uh, Femena, you also get a few coming your way. That's another eighteen. Against your armor class. Najak? Huh? Sorry, yes? Yeah, uh, you, uh, two of them attack you. What's your armor class? 16. Okay, there's one hit and another hit. And they t they deal in total four points of damage to you. Alright. These guys aren't very good, you notice. <laughs> Noted. Cross, your turn. I have a question before we continue. Uh, with so many around me, should I not just be swinging my hammer? You can, unfortunately, you can only make one attack at a time. Damn. Level two, right, man? Level two. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I disengage, they're gonna attack me, right? You, if you disengage, you can spend your. I think it's your whole move to leave without attacking. No, it's your attack action. Oh, that's your action. Oh, so, so you I... can't. Yeah, you can't make an attack afterwards, basically. Okay, so there's no point for me running to the bell and well, you can run. It. You can run back, but you would attract, get hit by. You would get hit by. You would at least provoke hits by several. Right. I might get about four, I think, if my numbers are right. Then I will just start with this one. Make me your attack. Mm -hmm. I'll just, uh, since I'm already carrying this, Jesus. Defin definitely a hit. Yeah, it, yeah, you just shattered Shatter. this thing. Yeah. Well, it was on a uh, two, bit, two, two hit points there. <laughs> And uh, it's now at minus 18, so it's pretty dead. <laughs> Gotta love bludgeoning. <laughs> yeah, it, this thing just shatters into pieces. I mean, be basically, I could have rolled a 1 and my rage points just would have shattered it, but hey. You could have rolled a 1 and it would have done damage any- it would have killed it anyway. This guy was Check. unhealthy. Uh, okay, Femeno, your turn. Right, I'd uh, actually like to run away. Okay. Are you a straight run or are you going to try and disengage? Yeah. A uh, difference is gonna, uh, well, disengage. You spend your action, so you can't make an attack afterwards. However, you don't uh, provoke attack opportunity. Just moving standardly, would, you can still get your attack, but you would attract hits. We'll call it. I'll uh, disengage. Okay, right. You can, yeah, you can move uh, out of there without provoking attacks. I'll go ahead and. Uh, is it the same amount of sp uh, moves I can do, or same range? I have a feeling yes, but in yeah. this terrain it wouldn't matter anyway. Alright, so but can you, I move here? You could easily move there, yeah. Do you need me to roll on acrobatics as well? Give I'd just say, you would, if you're moving just to there, it won't impede you enough that it would be an issue. Alright, I'll end it here. Okay. Lockhart, your turn. <laughs> can I hit the bell? Make me an attack. There it is. Um, some kind of range. And then a range. Short sword. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, I it? thought you. Getting... What are you doing? How close I am to that? Okay, I'm not even close. Can I? Can I redo? Can I use my? How about you just You're move yes. there and? You put away. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I move and then? You can I... move, yeah. Make me an acrobatics check to go over the altar. Jump over it, yeah. Oh my just god! Like, like over the hood of a car, just go. Yeah. <laughs> like parkour. Let's go. Oh yeah, yeah. Be good. parkour. parkour. <laughs> You just don't scratch the paint. Oh wait, no, it's, it's, it's fainted already. <laughs> wow, shit. So you know I said don't roll a one about three or four seconds ago? Oh, ouch. 
As you move to a uh, jump over the a uh, the altar, your foot, catches, like your foot catches your foot catches on 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 off bit of eroded stone, and you just fall flat on your face. But, but does my head at least uh, touch? No. Your head doesn't hit the bell. Oh, oh. You wanted to throw yourself at the bell. That would have been an improvised what? weapon, I think. Yes, you can have an improvised weapon. Also, I think you take a, you take a point of a uh, bludgeoning damage as your head as you face plant into, into the stone tiles. Ow. So do one temporary yeah. hit point? No, it, no, it's just it's one one damage. You're saying it's temporary, just yeah. Straight well, it's not so temporary; it's just, it's just straight damage. Be in pain. Oh. I'm confused. Just uh, just click on your a uh, on your token. See the um green circle. Oh. Just minus yeah. one from that. Okay. You can just type minus one in there. It's it's really great. Oh. Minus one. I think I did it. Thing. Okay. Right. And then ah, your turn. The thing. You have to enter afterwards. Yeah. Stop. Oh. There we go. Okay. I want to hit right. the bell. I mean, attack roll. Oh, you already have. Uh, okay. just for sake of argument, roll me damage. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Okay, yeah. With this final hit of the bell, this final great resounding noise just hits out, and this actually visible wall of just force rushes throughout the cathedral and as it passes the skeletons they just crumble to dust and fall to pieces as the sort of this wave pulls out like expands out from the church from the uh, cathedral you notice even the mist passing away as it moves through it's moving a few hundred meters or just finally dissipates for the first time the mist around the cathedral is gone what the fog what the fog's gone Frick. Shit. and that's oh, the shit. end of that I feel like this is completely separate to this other dude. Wait, I don't know where the fuck this other dude is. No, what? No. no, 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 the fog. The fog the that we came gone. through. The fog's gone. The cathedral is still here. <laughs> that, 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 that's... The imagine? cathedral was a, was a mist. It's not even... So the all... cathedral's actually made of mist. <laughs> <laughs> so all the original skeletons are now gone. Yeah, all... well, they're still there, but they are in pieces Crumbled. and yeah. so, oh, in ash. Yeah. Moving back to the altar... Can I see that there is something under there? Is there an opening? Um, perception check. <laughs> After I that, you just... want to go back and immediately touch it again. Well, there's nothing left up to write. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. You see more scratch marks, as if someone had pushed it, you know, to move it. And as when you were like pushing it earlier, you didn't notice that it, it wasn't really fixed to the ground in any way. I'm uh, gonna quickly glance through the cathedral to see if there's any uh, skeleton that would like to be getting back up. <laughs> no, they, 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 they're ash now. They ain't getting up for a while. Yeah, for a while. Maybe so next I'm, century. I'm gonna uh, apologize profusely to the party and then ask, shall we push it again? Or what do we do? I guess to go ahead. Okay, make me a strength check. I mean, I've only heard one person in the whole party, but... I'm just gonna look yeah, at you disapprovingly. <laughs> You've been doing that from the beginning, so I'm used to it by now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why am I so close to the orc? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so straight safer. strength check, or... The... Strength check. Not a saving throw. Okay. If it was, like, falling to crush you, it would be a saving throw, but, you know, you're just shifting it. Yeah. Yeah, with that check, it takes you a little while, but you do manage to just push this altar aside. Being loud as fuck as you do it, but nothing seems to react out of the uh, now very ash-based remains of the skeletons. Pushing away the the, um, the altar, you do you see underneath what looks like a stairwell going down. I do not think this is where the uh, aquary lies. Well, you do notice again footsteps. The same but dusty. Sort of recently put like 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 set down like footsteps in the dust. Hmm. Hmm. Going down. I mean, we got to kill this guy. So. Should we go? 
Oh yeah, we don't. He doesn't want him back live anymore. I'd like to question him though. I will see I if I can. Things to uh, ask. We might want to be careful. There might be traps down there. Hmm. Should we check for traps then, as we're going yeah, through? Yeah, I was gonna say. Does anyone okay. have experience with tracks? Maybe the rogue would know Perhaps. a little bit about these things. Me? Oh, no, me. You? You're the ranger. Actually, I'm a ranger now. No, you. Same R, same thing, right? No, you. <laughs> so there's a staircase down there. There's a staircase going down, completely unlit, so, you know. Thank God you have torches and that. No, man, I'm checking what I have in my pack. Guess chalk, probably a few bedpans, other stuff you'll never use. If my knowledge of kit serves me well. No, I got the bow of pack. Yeah, I just... The most packs have all the stuff you need need. I mean, you know. If you, if it's just something basically, like, you know, rope or just like, you know, uh, like a sort of torch, you probably have it on you and at least one of you probably has it on them. Well, my torch is still lit so I can get and hand it over. Lip. <laughs> I guess that works. Or if you want to follow me, you can hold the torch while I take a look at the, or keep an eye on the floor and the walls and all, and especially the roof if there's any traps. Okay, so you're gonna go. If you're doing that, as you go down, I'd like you to make me a perception or investigation check, say. Uh, I guess I'll do the I perception. Guess check i wonder why <laughs> <laughs> well that's why <laughs> okay looking out of this as you search through the sides of, the, of this stairwell can i hand off this... can i hand off any perception check to the rogue from now on <laughs> so rogue's good at skills never saw that one coming <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> but yeah i thought there were tanks anyway as you go down and you descend for a good a good for like a few minutes of just walking cautiously throughout the uh, uh, down the stairwell. About a couple of minutes in, you notice sort of the light of your torch has glanced off, almost like a small tripwire across the floor. Hmm. Uh, I stopped the party and uh, passed the word that there's a tripwire down here, and then I'll gently step over uh, around the tripwire, not touching the tripwire. Okay. I'd like to roll an investigation to try and figure out what it's tripping. Because <laughs> it's high. Uh, allegedly, anyway. Uh, make me an investigation or perception check. Okay, sort of looking around, seeing where the mechanism goes, it looks like it shoots something out of these tiny, like, sort of pinprick holes in the walls. That would barely, you, wouldn't, you would not notice them if you weren't looking for them. Or rolled a 20 on perception. You know, either or. <laughs> okay. Can you deactivate this? I can't. Farrak? Mm. I you can have try. A... I mean, yeah. you could have, could have a thieves tool, I um, just check. Okay. Because I feel trying to get over it is not going to help me. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. You just managed to, you managed to just sort of, you know, ju we'll say jury rig the firing mechanism so that it's, you know, permanently gone. That it can receive no inputs in computer speak. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. I spent too long in lectures today. It's all just. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything in I/O. Anyway. Just codes and numbers. Oh my. Not looking into the matrix for too long. <laughs> so the matrix is just right, a secure well, recipe now. Where it continues uh, further down the stairs. Okay, in that case, I'm assuming the rest of you are following him, not just letting mm -hmm. him walk off. Yes, we that. are. Well, yeah. I'm carrying the torch for him, so yeah. Okay, right. Because I was <laughs> smart. Because I was smart and made the a uh, made the end for this entrance to this dungeon uh, two by two, and can't get all the party in. I'm just gonna put. Someone's gonna have someone on top of them if you're not. Oh my. Oh, I'm up for that. Can I be on top of power, please? <laughs> oh, if you so oh nice, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, but you're, you're a man and I am a tiefling and I feel like I should be on you. Man and a tiefling, yeah. That's... I'll go right. with that. 
you des descend into this. Eventually, the stairs level off into this. A uh, um. Okay, never mind. Um. This looks like a, as far as I can tell, this looks, like, this looks more like a crypt than the uh, cathedral upstairs. There's, on the walls, there's just several indentations and markings and murals of what looks like a huge armoured warrior. I see several it's a, um, illustrations of him just carving through troops and him standing basically at the top of basically a pile of skulls with his sword outstretched. Do we know who it is? Make me a history check. I'd make me a very, very hard history check. <coughs> well, oh <my> God. God. <laughs> well, how'd that go? Right. That, that was just about enough, actually. <laughs> just about Looking it. around, look by, judging by his armor and the indentations on him, he looks, as far as you can tell, like uh, like a member of the Grave Guard, which, through incredibly obscure history, you have come by by unknown means, you would know these ancient order of a, a paladins who transformed themselves into undead so that they could forever hunt evil. And that through various, through, like this is like, prehistory stuff, this was thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years ago, and that even if it were all like that, you wouldn't exactly know when this happened or who it was, but judging by all the signs, this was definitely one of them, and you would know that Pretty much all of them eventually went mad and just turned on their original cause. Well then. Something about being, un being undead and all that. Hmm. I relay this information to everyone else. Undead warriors. Hmm. But yes, ahead of you, you see a great set of a uh, doors, and to your to your right, a corridor with a small opening. Like here? Yeah, there. Do we see any footprints down here? The footprints go straight ahead down the corridor. Although they make... Straight ahead through the doors. Okay, well, I relay that information to the others. I think we should check this way first. Can we check for traps as well, before we go on? Uh, for, 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 for this area, yeah, I'll say. Uh, Barrick, do you want to check for traps since you, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, perception or investigation? Check. No, I don't want to say the investigation, I know which one you'll go for. <laughs> <laughs> Untrapped, actually. Oh my. There are no traps. Although, with that, 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 that thing, you do get, you do, you do get, just smell something. So, like, the like decaying bodies, or just like, whatever it is, it's fucking rancid. Like, you know, you smell, you smell death place. before, but this is something worse. Hmm. There's something foul ahead. Turns out crypto hygiene policies aren't incredibly tight. <laughs> yeah, I know. The cleaner hasn't been around for a while. I will not. Probably <laughs> dead. Well, we'll probably kill the cleaner now. Yeah. <sighs> Just find a guy in a hive his jacket inside of a mob. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. So you gonna go in? Who wants to go first? I mean, it's gotta be me, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you're like. I'm already fucked up. Let's just go in. Okay. Ooh. Inside is this what looks like an embalming room with several, with like a, a tall ta a, a sort of table on the side and several a. Uh, it seems a lot more practical than the rest of the, of the of this crypt, which seems to be entirely seems to be more showy. This isn't entirely practical. And on the workbench is what looks like one of those creatures you fought in the mist, stretched out on a table and a uh, dissected with extreme inaccuracy. We'll call it. It looks more less like a dissection, more just like a sort of uh, or more like a sort of enraged stabbing. And it's just spread out on the table, where it's entrails all over the place really one of the things with the tongues one of the things with the tongues all those uh. things in complete pieces at this point it looks like someone started to try an actual autopsy but then lost his temper midway through that's a chest hmm what's inside the chest 
That's a good question. Why am I so is far away from everyone? <laughs> Get closer. Why are you? <laughs> Just running away like, nah, guys, you do. I'm gonna go kill And them. as much as the hey. tiefling doesn't want to be near the big orc, she still There's follows the orc. orc. <laughs> I'll be back here having a sandwich. <laughs> You'll be yeah. next to the dissected undead, but not. Yeah. <laughs> so rather than, rather stand there than next to the orc, thank Which you. Which smells <laughs> fucking awful, by the way. I'm it's like it's like death died because it did. My nose. <laughs> well, Foxy, you were interested. You want to open that chest? Yeah, I want to open that chest. Can I open I'm the chest? I'm just gonna step you outside then. Can. can I just? Run? Yeah, I too will step outside if she's gonna open the chest. Really? <laughs> Opening the chest. You find. I'll stay here. Okay. You find almost like a, a small, like wrapped up scroll at the bottom of the foot of the uh, uh, chest. A single, a uh, uh, just blue opaque bead, and there was around and around sixty gold pieces. Oh, fuck you guys. Although looking, at, although looking at it, this is uh, no coinage you've ever seen. Para. <gasps> I said coinage. <laughs> So, so give, me, give, give me a knowledge economics. What did you think he said? <laughs> they said golden coins, but like, you, you know historical things, so you might know where it's from. I don't know why I'm doing me? jazz hands. Well, yeah. the tiefling, yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can do a check. I mean, can I do a check first, actually, before she does one? See uh, if I could pick it up? Sure, let me, uh... I'm gonna say that neither of you would be able to recognize this at all. Actually, no, no. I, I, I don't know. Make me, uh, make me a history check. Just roll well if you history. want to get anything out. History, yeah. Yeah, roll a natural 20. <laughs> Just roll another 20, guys. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I never remember what I had for dinner yesterday. <laughs> no, you don't get this. They look fucking old, Garlic though. bread? Old coin. Can I, can I keep everything I find, ex including the wrapped up skull? I don't know why I need one. I'm here too, looking in the chest, and you're still you want some? Take the coins. Do I'm you just want half a I'm... coin. <laughs> yes. It wasn't a wrapped up skull. It was a wrapped up scroll. Scroll. Oh, not a skull. <laughs> hmm. How's how's your hearing, Foxy? Just out of interest. <laughs> Absolute shit. <laughs> it was like an actual. Oh, it's wrapped up like a mummy, and I'm like, yes, this is what I need. Scroll. Oh, this, this looks great on my counter, actually, guys. Why don't you want to read it? I'm just gonna the... take it. Okay, let's read the scroll then. Fine. Can I read the scroll? <laughs> you. It's... Can she open it and then I read it over her shoulder? <laughs> okay. Uh... All right. As you uh, as you start reading, as you start, make me a wisdom check, actually, power. Oh, 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 oh. As I'm wise as shit, dude. As you start reading the uh, the text, you start to feel the power when you sort of rush up and you rise at the last second. This is a healing scroll. So I'd like you to roll 2d4 plus 1, please. Who, me? Uh, no, power, because she was oh, actually activated it. Hang on, my music's gone off. Okay, oh. everyone gains back that much health. Oh, oh. Well, well, simple. Lost, back on full. Back on full. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can't go over your max, right? That'd be nope. you can, no. You can't go over your max. That's what's your max. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> there's still that. There's still the gold and that tiny blue bead in there. Um, what is the blue bead? Is it like magical? Is it just? Um, you don't know. Can I do a? a I mean, check? I, maybe an Arcana check if you want to figure out if this thing's magical. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, thanks. No, you don't. Know. Can I? Tr can I try? You certainly could. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this to you looks like, looks like a bead of force. Oh. Which is essentially a, uh, what's that called? Magical grenades. Magical what now? Hand grenades. Oh my goodness. Speed of okay, course. Then. Well then. Yeah. I would say throw it at the enemy. That might help. <laughs> that might be functional. 
That's a good idea. Would you like to keep it? Yes, actually. Okay, I will uh, send you the details of a Discord, Foxy, of what it does. That's Foxy blows us all up into a thousand pieces. Ha 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 ha! How did you know? <laughs> Damn, uh, my plan is foiled. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'm gonna print screen that and put it in my Word document. Where's my print screen? Where's you still use print screen? Yeah, boy. I'm the basic peasant. Uh, if it's text, text and you're putting it into a Word document. Why not just copy paste? I like <laughs> images. Why not? Okay, it's easy for me to read. I'm blind. To be fair, it's... it's still text. There's yeah, colors. Format the text and the formatting. What, what colors? I sent you a, a, a black white document. <laughs> no, it has colors. Like it has. Yeah, the... black and white. <laughs> and gold and brown and red and blue. That's not right. in the useful part. That's the attributes, okay? It's like when you're reading stuff for MMMRPGs. You haven't opened like... the attribute list. See, the blue oh. text says show attribute list okay. that you didn't click on. Oh! Anyway, moving on. There's still a 60 gold in there. Is it like actually. You said. It's we don't know what currency is, so. Are we surely we don't know that it's worth sixty. Well, it, gold. It, it, well, it, well, yeah, looking at it, there's sixty gold coins in there. Right, of some unusual. Of some. But well, would we put yeah. it in a normal it, inventory? It still counts as gold. This is, you know, in the olden economics where it's actually gold. Okay. It's worth that. It's worth that much because it's that much. Um, I'm thirty gold to power. Maybe does anybody else want some gold? I mean, we I'll found it. I mean, I'll give you something else for it. <laughs> I don't want anything else, babe. Oh. I'll keep it. I'll keep. I'll keep thirty, and the other thirty goes to power. What's the conversion here? What's the conversion? <laughs> no, I mean like we are. We are doing the. So a gold. How many? It's a hundred, is... hundred, hundred, right? Yeah. No. That's no, ten, 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 ten. Oh, okay. I mean, if you think it the way that copper is one cent, then silver is ten cent. Uh, I think uh, electrum is fifty cent, and then gold is a hundred. Right, but it, 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 how it, many for gold, a platinum? Just, a platinum is ten. Ten gold to a platinum. Oh. Okay. Ten gold to a platinum. That works. I guess. Should we keep moving? Very well. Okay, let's leave. Uh, Mars, how much longer do we have left for the uh, halfway point? Uh, minutes. Yeah, about four minutes. Okay, uh, well, tell you what. As you sort of go around the corner here, Gruz, mm -hmm. you see another suit of armor just like lying on its a um, just lying on the on its a uh, just stone slab. As you move past it, you hear it just clank and shudder to life. Well then, here we and go again. To sit up. And we'll, should, should, should do that as this thing prepares to fight you. Should we do that after the break, or? Yeah. 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 You want good. us to roll uh, initiative? Uh, we'll before roll we... when we get back. Okay. All right. Well. So if there's any issues, yeah. I'm more, you know, red. I'm more remember what they actually are. So <laughs> <don't have> to... <laughs> All like, right. There's something wrong, but I can't remember what. <laughs> <laughs> Well, grab yourselves a drink, and we'll be back in uh, five to ten minutes.